Hello students, welcome to today's lesson. In our last lesson, we have seen nature and the properties of enzyme. In the model of enzyme action, like log in the key model and the induced feed model. As well, we have seen factors that affect an enzyme activity, just like temperature, pH, and the substrate concentration. Now, we are going to see another lesson, lesson five, which is inhibitor. Under this lesson, we are going to see some contents that include reversible inhibitor, reversible inhibitor. At the end of this lesson, student, you will be able to distinguish competitive, non-competitive reversible and irreversible inhibitor by giving an example. Student, how do you think other substances affect enzyme activity, including inhibitor? Well, not only temperature, pH, and substrate concentration, there is another substance that affects an enzyme action or rate of enzyme activity to form enzyme substrate complex. These are termed to be inhibitor. When we say inhibitor, there are a substance that can bind with enzyme to prevent it from functioning in normal manner or enable enzyme not to be formed, enzyme substrate complex. Not only preventing them not to be formed enzyme substrate complex, they can totally alter an enzyme catalytic activity they can slow the rate or totally stop an enzyme catalyst system. These are said to be inhibitors. So the rate of an enzyme activity can be inhibited by different factors, including inhibitors. So inhibitor can be classified into two main types. These are reversible inhibitor and irreversible inhibitor. Student, do you know what by means the difference between reversible and then irreversible inhibitor? Well, when we say irreversible inhibitor, as its name indicates, it is inhibitor that cannot be returned back to the original catalytic activity of an enzyme once it binds to the active site of an enzyme. So, when enzyme become in contact, bind, interact with reversible inhibitor, they can strongly bond with that of an enzyme activated site. And the action of affecting an enzyme activities permanently. It can alter the catalytic activity of an enzyme permanently since they are irreversible one. So the rate of an enzyme to be form enzyme substrate complex totally affected. It may be totally slow down. It may be totally stop again. Expecting an enzyme activity under interaction with that of irreversible inhibitor is highly affected. For example, when painkiller aspirin be combined with that of an enzyme activity at its active site, when mineral element just like that of heavy metal, just like that of silver, just like that of mercury, just like that of lead binds with that of an enzyme, they can allow enzyme not to be performed in normal manner. And it is impossible to detach away this inhibitor from that of an enzyme. Because of this, we say this like inhibitor are said to be irreversible. Well then, the another thing that we can see in contrast to that of reversible inhibitor is reversible inhibitor. When we say reversible inhibitor, it has the definition when inhibitor or this substance be combined to that of an enzyme action or its active site in weak manner. It can alter an enzyme activity temporarily and the action can be reversible when inhibitor can be removed. The bond that is created between this like inhibitor and enzyme active site is in weak manner. 
if inhibiting substance become removed from it, enzyme can be regain its original catalytic activity. This type of inhibitor is said to be reversible. Well then, this type of inhibitor can be classified into two main types. One is competitive reversible inhibitor. The second one is non-competitive reversible inhibitor. At the name indicate, when you say competitive reversible inhibitor, it is an inhibitor that can compete to something of an enzyme. Whereas non-competitive reversible inhibitor to means it doesn't concern to that of some part of an enzyme. Its name indicate there is a competitive, there is non-competitive with this reversible inhibitor. Let me see them one by one. When we say competitive reversible inhibitor, it is an inhibitor that have a complementary shape to the shape of enzyme active site and the substrate that it can be catalyzed. So, competitive reversible inhibitor can have the same shape to that of the active site and again, substrate they combine with. So, it is compete for the active site of an enzyme plus the substrate that they can bind with. We say it is competitive reversible inhibitor because this type of inhibitor compete for that of these two boss. They compete for this, for active site and again for substrate of an enzyme. So, therefore, the level of competitive reversible inhibitor is highly depend on the relative concentration of substrate and the inhibitor molecule. When you say how much the rate of reaction is running off, it depends on how much substrate concentration is present in the reaction and again how much inhibitor molecule is present here. To say reaction is, takes place in fastening rate and again in slow rate, it is based on these two concentration. So, it is, we can dilute the, the rate of inhibitor by increasing the concentration of this one, or we can slow down the, the rate of reaction by increasing this one. It may be very important. It may be have some dimensional importance here. For example, methanol poison, poison-like, and the cyanide-like, and the pancreas ibuprofen, they can be considered as competitive reversible inhibitor. If the rate of reaction for that of competitive reversible inhibitor in comparison with that of this inhibitor is based on these two factors. For example, let me perform this example together. If the ratio of 70% of substrate molecule binds to 30% of inhibitor molecules. What did you use from this example, student? Well then, here, when we say 70% substrate molecule, substrate is one factor that determines the rate of reaction. If more substrate present in certain reaction, there is a grid correlation that can be determining there is high kinetic energy. Together, rate can be proceed. So, 30 part of the reaction is not occupied because inhibitors are found here. And again, 70 part of this one is not occupied by an inhibitor. So, 30% of the rate of the reaction is inhibited here. Whereas, 70% of the reaction is left. So, reaction is proceeding by 70% maximum. For example, by adding 30% of substrate to here, we can totally remove or dilute the effect of competitive reversible inhibitor. By that we say effectiveness of competitive reversible inhibitor is highly determined by the amount of substrate added to it. Let's see this diagram together, student. The reaction can be proceed in high rate here. There is no inhibitor or if certain concentration of inhibitor become added, 
the rate become drop here. The rate is dropping to here. So, if we add certain concentration of substrate to this reduced rate of reaction, we can back to that of the original catalytic activity. The effect of competitive reversible inhibitor can be diluted by adding inhibited enough concentration of substrate. Adding substrate concentration is a means of diluting the effect of competitive reversible inhibitor. So, the rate of competitive inhibitor doesn't affect uh, the rate of reaction just like that of the earlier irreversible inhibitor. If we add certain concentration of substrate, we are going to dilate its effect. By that, it is said to be reversible. Well done, student. The another example and the type of reversible inhibitor is non-competitive inhibitor. When we say non-competitive inhibitor, it doesn't compete to that of both enzyme active site as well the substrate to catalyze. There is no complementary T shape between enzyme active site and as well substrate they can be catalyzed. But it binds to other part of an enzyme that contain active site, which we call allosteric sites. When we say allosteric site, which come from a Greek term, allos to means other, stereos to means form or shape. Binding to this site or other site of enzyme which you call allosteric site, it may be turned on or that of off the rate of the reaction. Means it can activate the enzyme catalytic activity or it can deactivate or that of reduce enzyme catalytic activity. Over the allosteric site, there is off system and again on system. For example, if this like inhibitor added to that of allosteric site of an enzyme and increase the rate, if the rate become increased, we call there is allosteric activator over it. There is allosteric activator over that of the surface of an enzyme, which can increase the rate on the system of chemical reaction. But if another substance added to it over the allosteric site of an enzyme and reduce the rate of an enzyme activity, we call it is said to be allosteric inhibitor. So non-competitive inhibitor binding to that of other site of enzyme called allosteric site can have off system and they are going on system. Increasing the rate, activating, and again reducing the rate, deactivating, or own system. Student, do you think the advantage of non-competitive inhibitor in cell metabolic system? Well then, this type of inhibitor, we call non-competitive inhibitor, is very important in regulating so many metabolic pathways of a cell. Much of metabolic pathway of the cell can be regulated by this action. If we add substrate concentration to that of non-competitive inhibitor, it doesn't bring nothing. The rate of the reaction can be affected by non-competitive inhibitor, regardless of the concentration of substrate we add. Adding enough substrate to that of this non-competitive inhibitor doesn't matter. It doesn't bring any change. So here, for example, let's have another example here. Suppose 18% of inhibitor molecules added to allosteric site of an enzyme. 18 inhibitor molecules added to allosteric site of an enzyme molecule. This means an enzyme activity become reduced or affected by 18% totally. If you add the substrate molecule, it doesn't mean no meaning here. So reaction rate become highly affected to 20 maximum. Only 20% of the enzyme is not occupied, but 18% of them is totally occupied. Still, the reaction rate is 
running in 20% maximum. So, addition of substrate or removal of substrate from that of non-competitive inhibitor doesn't bring any change. They affect the rate of the reaction regardless of the concentration of substrate. So, this highly affect when compared to that of uh, competitive reversible inhibitor. So here, with non-competitive inhibitor, the rate is highly reduced. If you add the substrate concentration to here, you cannot back to here. Without inhibitor, it is this one. And again, in uh, presence of non-competitive inhibitor, the reaction is highly dropped to that of this one. Well done. As I told you earlier, this type of inhibition is very important in regulation of so many metabolic pathways of a cell. I hope you are familiar with that. Most type of substance in our body can be produced in sequence of pathway, in many metabolic pathways. There is a series of reactions that can be takes place in our body to become produced. This type of inhibitor is very important. On system and the off system of our body enzymatic activity or our body meta regulation system is very important in production of some substance needed for our body. Let us have this diagram and have certain explanation. I hope you can have so many understand from this diagram. Let's say this one is an enzyme controlled pathway where the production of this in the product is depend on the sequence of reaction. There is a series of reactions that can regulate or determine the production of D. There is initial substrate or substance here, A, which is catalyzed by enzyme 1, which catalyzes the rate to become converted into that of intermediate. And they are catalyzed by enzyme 2 and again convert to that of intermediate. These two are intermediate, catalyzed by enzyme 2 and that of 3. Let's have an exam expression here. There is an inhibition can be found here. Of own system of inhibition is found here. Let us show them. If the requirement of substance D in the cell become increased, if the cell, the demand of product D by the cell highly increase, the concentration of D is going to decrease the concentration of D in the cell become highly reduced. This indicates that it is going to activate or own enzyme 1 to become convert A to that of B, enzyme 2 to convert B to that of C, enzyme 3 to become highly convert substance D. Reduction of or that of the requirement of D in the cell allow enzyme 1 to become proceed the reaction. This one is own system. But reversely, if the requirement of substance D or product D in the cell become decreased or reduced, the concentration of D in the cell going to increase. This is to become increased to mean indicate that the rate at which enzyme 1 to become convert, this one is going to affect it. This means when the increase or that of decrease in concentration of product D going to affect the earlier reaction, enzyme 1, enzyme 2, and the enzyme 3, halting the whole process is said to be feedback in the product inhibition or negative feedback inhibition. The one is considered as non-competitive inhibitor. So, so non-competitive inhibitor is on and the off system is found on the allosteric side of an enzyme, which is very important in determination of metabolic pathways that can be explained in the cell. Well done, student. I hope you, have, you maybe get clear to that of what I am explaining for you on the diagram earlier. There are 20 amino acids that is found in our body, which come together to form a protein which is protein is very important for our body activity or functioning. So here, 
one type of prot amino acid is isoleucine. And again, the air is threonin. If the requirement of isoleucine in the cell become increased, the concentration of isoleucine in the cell become reduced. This facilitates enzyme 1 to become highly converted to that of intermediate B, to that of intermediate C, to that of intermediate D, finally to form this one. Enzyme 1 to become highly interact with that of threonine to form another intermediate finally isoleucine. But if the requirement of isoleucine in the cell become increased, it is going to uh, activate the process. The system of inhibition is going to activate it. But is the, if the requirement of product D or that of isoleucine become reduced, the concentration of isoleucine in the cell become increases the cell, which can be act as an inhibition or that of a poison to that of earlier reaction to become bind to that of this one to form this one. So here, there is no intermediate one A formed, there is no intermediate B formed, there is no intermediate C formed, there is no intermediate D formed, the whole catalytic system of this enzyme become affected. Finally, there is no isoleucine formed. Cell is going to affect it by the advantage they, since they lose the advantage they obtain from that of isolation. There is no binding of, here, there is no binding of enzyme 1 without of threonine to form finally isolation. This type of pathway is said to be negative feedback inhibition or non-competitive inhibition. Good student, I hope you may be overcome what is the difference between competitive and the non-competitive reversible inhibitor appropriately. So, in nowadays lesson, as there is so many factors that affect enzyme activity, including inhibitor. Inhibitor may be reversed by breaking the bond that holds inhibitor with that of the enzyme and that of substrate molecule. And again, inhibitor can be non-reversible or irreversible there. They can affect an enzyme activity permanently for so many times, which can affect the rate more. And again, we have seen as non-competitive reversible inhibitor is very important in regulation of so many metabolic activity of the cell. This is all about the lessons that I have for you for today. In our coming lesson, we'll come to see cell biology together. Until that, goodbye students.